Collegiality relates to cooperation, interaction and the relationship between colleagues. As we'll see in the following interviews, collegiality also relates to sharing, exchange and negotiation, or leaving someone alone so they can just work quietly. Peer review can be facilitated and encouraged in a collegial campus environment. Think about how collegiality might relate to the process of peer review. I work with a great group of people. Well, my understanding is that peer review is the process of collaborating with teaching colleagues um, through their observation of my practice and vice versa. And, and sharing strategies and teaching um, activities and developmental activities. Well, as an example, uh, last year I received some helpful feedback which I used to improve a seminar that I was preparing for third year students and in turn I've given helpful and constructive feedback to others. An essential part of peer review is the opportunity for personal reflection and subsequent development of practice. That's what's really important in my opinion about peer review. In our department the younger and newer members of staff are the ones most willing to share, you know, resources, problems, techniques, that sort of thing that the older staff members aren't forthcoming. In our department, there's very little interest from the older and often more experienced staff members in the peer review initiatives. The older staff members potentially can offer great value in group discussions about facilitating learning, but they just don't seem to be interested. Well, within my group, I have one colleague with whom I get along extremely well. Um, then I have this other colleague and whilst he's a, a very nice human being, he, he does a lot of research, has a wonderful research portfolio, he's just not interested in collaborating with others or, or even talking to anyone. He just wants to sit quietly and do his work and I mean that's fine, if that's what you want to do, that's fine, but yet yeah, not a collaborative person at all. I think we do have a cooperative and collegial environment where peer reviews are encourage them, facilitate it. But I think there needs to be confidence and goodwill on all sides. You know, I'd like to choose the person that reviews me, not have someone assigned and mandated. This happened once in our department, and we found that imposing rules about who reviews who was actually counterproductive. Some of the more negative comments from colleagues, even though they were intended to be constructive, simply served to undermine people's confidence. Well, as for bland positives, well, they can be a waste of time too. Well, last semester I observed some colleagues, but they were not willing to open themselves and receive feedback. To some extent, I think personalities are important. I guess every department on campus has its own culture. <laughs> I know ours certainly does. Think about your own situation. What factors do you think contribute to a collegial environment? How important are factors like cooperation or interacting with colleagues? Does your group or department have its own microculture? <laughs>